Welcome back. And those just tuning in, we just wrapped up our Halloween epic battle between the World Eaters, led by Angron, and the Death Guard, led by Mortarian. Or you know, the final score, World Eaters 91 to a Death Guard 85. The World Eaters are champions. I retain my title as the Pump King of Tim's Nation. If you ever wonder why I don't compliment you on your wins, it's because you do it for yourself quite enough. I know. Well, if I don't compliment me, no one else will. I would say like, oh, good job, DJ. Except, no, no, DJ's like, ah, king, king, king. But uh, no, it was a really good game. Uh, this was a lot of fun. This was a yeah, lot of... It came was, right down to the last turn. Yeah, there, and it was a very epic conclusion. I, I got a into the wrestling side of me of this. Angron gets blasted, knocked out of the ring, hit with the steel chair, gone. They're taking him out on a stretcher. He rolls off the stretcher, comes back in the ring, and drops Stone Cold Stunner on Mortarian right in the center field to take home the title. And I'm glad we uh, caught the dice roll for the four sixes. So it was, uh, that was that exactly when you needed it. Because exactly. if he didn't, if he right didn't come back then, you would uh, it would be a different game. So oh, I mean, I do. I mean, I feel like there is some luck behind World Eaters. Like mm -hmm. I, I, they have. They, we've seen them be successful in tournaments, and I feel like with a little more practice, I could probably bring that luck factor down. But man, it is still some of that sometimes that luck factor, like right there. Like last time we played, I had I I had like I think multiple icons ready for multiple re rolls and did not bring Angron back, mm -hmm. and it got to a point of okay, I just have to stick this straight with eight dice. Didn't happen this time. I roll eight dice. I did have a banner for a re roll. And like you said, four sixes, boom. Angron comes back and at the perfect time, had a command point, rapid ingress, swept into your backfield. We traded home field objective markers, and that ended up being what won me the game. That was that was it right there. Mm -hmm. I mean, granted, yes, Bla uh, stunnering Mortarian at center field was a, a, the icing on the cake. But as we were discussing a comparison with Mortarian and Angron, Mortarian just does not seem to measure up in that combat profile as what Angron does. No, he's, uh, I mean, he's a lot less points. He's 300 to Angron's, what do you say, 420? Uh, it's 400 something. I'm not sure yeah. offhand, yeah. Uh, um, he's a lot less points, but just not, like, I didn't, I didn't really, really like Morty. Sorry, guys, if you're a Morty fan, sorry. Um, his buffs just didn't seem that relevant in this game. A reeling once the wound is handy, but didn't come up a whole lot. Mm -hmm. And, um, Ignoring modifiers didn't really come up at all because there weren't really any modifiers that were going on. So, uh, yeah, and the, he just doesn't hit hard enough. Like his sweep is 15 attacks but one damage, so it's good into one wound stuff. Um, and his strike is only five attacks at flat four damage. So if you roll a couple ones, which, you know, one time I did, I rolled my five attacks, rolled two ones. So it's like, mm -hmm. oh, uh, there goes that, you know, and if so he, like, for example, he swung into um, Karn and couldn't even take four wounds off of Karn uh, just because a couple bad dice here and there. And it doesn't and work. And not having those things like those re-rolls to correct things. Like Angron does have that inherent ability. Yeah. You got to pick it, but he can have that re-roll hits and yeah. having those re-rolls. Uh, in certain armies, in certain situations, like we've, we've seen this, you can have really good guns, you have no re-rolls to hit, and then you roll, you miss. Yeah. Votan run into that a lot. And also Angron's aura buff of re-rolling all hits uh, is way better than anything Morty has in terms of his auras. You know, uh, Morty's auras are situationally useful. You know, re-rolling once the wound, I guess, is okay, but so much of the Death Guard is based off of lethal hits, so it doesn't really work well with that. Uh, re-rolling hit rolls would be so much more useful. But um, no, I mean, for, for his point, he's obviously cheaper at 300 points. Just doesn't, mm -hmm. just doesn't do a whole lot. I could have two carnivores in there, two war dog carnivores, or for 220 points, I have another brick of uh, Death Shroud. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I might try him again for fun. But uh, like I said beforehand, if you are a, a Mortarian fan, tell me what you're running with him together to benefit from his auras, because I just didn't see a whole lot of that uh, here today. So. Yeah, I definitely feel like your Death Guard style, you are very you have a very unique style with how you play them. Um with your infantry, the Death Guard the um uh what is it, the the, the plague marines themselves mm -hmm. and how you play your style. And it might be I and I can't say this from any experience with Death Guard except for playing against them. It might be that 
some of the unit, there's some different units that you should be running technically with them. I think that one unit they boof, he boosts really well is Plague Burst Crawlers. But right now, Plague Burst Crawlers really are not that good. They don't do a heavy amount of damage, and they're not doing very much for the mission wins. So they're kind of, you're, you're losing a lot on the Plague Burst Crawlers for the overall scheme of the game. Yeah, because they made indirect so that now you're all, you know, you never hit better than fours. And he used to make it so that Plague Burst Crawlers would still hit on threes indirectly. So it was, you know. Um, so, yeah, again, like I said, give me some comments as to what you guys run with Marty. Maybe I'll try something else. I have a lot of other Death Guard stuff, so I might try some other things. But All right. I was happy with the um, – I was really happy with the Demon Prince. He did really well. Mm -hmm. So I definitely think I'm going to try and get the regular one. Uh, that was a lot of positive on him. Very tough to take down. Um, even his – Reduced damage by one factor that came in later into the game. Or cut reduced damage cut, damage. cut damage. I kept saying it to him all game. It's like, no, it's cut it in half, and now I mess it up. But yeah, cutting damage in half was really nice. Uh, he was on the opposite side of Mortarian, which I was trying to keep him there, so you couldn't ignore that modifier. Mm -hmm. And then when the blow drone came in, he wasn't able to do anything because I was just able to stop him and then punch him back for the flat three damage. So his damage output is good for what he's doing, hanging out in the backfield, kind of working with the objectives and doing secondaries and stuff. And then his boost for that invuln boost was very nice, especially for the eight bound, the exalted, not necessarily as much for the, um, for the jackals, for what I was talking about and trying to do. Having that five up was still nice to bog down a little bit. Uh, it definitely allowed me to, it allowed me to cut the board in half to be able to handle everything on the other side of the field. Um, but fight on death was a huge, huge MVP. I didn't do that last game at all. I did not even trigger into it the last time I played world leaders. This time I was more conscientious about it. I was looking through everything a lot more like going, stopping and going, okay, hold on before I spend these, what do I need to do for this turn? What, what is really going on this turn? And what do I really need to have? You know, a world leader, a, a world leader army sitting and calmly thinking about what you're doing, not just rushing in there. <laughs> that's like that's like an orc uh, an orc army that's uh doing math you know uh, cunning and brutal <laughs> exactly cunning and brutal and i'm not saying orc players don't do math Orc players do a ton of math they, they they're dividing by like 38 dice and 26 this and the sustaining you're just like okay you charge me this unit's gone okay good good they're, they're just gone um all in all though i was much happier with the world leaders this mm -hmm. time how, how did you how did you like this this more uh the build behind the demon prince more so i think it's good the demon prince is really strong uh, especially you know buffing the involves is a big deal uh, so i don't know if maybe it would have been a better idea if i had taken the reducing your weapon skill although a lot of times you get the rerolls from angron um still i was bumping in your involves quite a bit so i don't know i don't know what the right choice would have been uh, there but um, no, I think the list, you, know, you played a lot better this time. We're thinking through things a lot better. Uh, it's not just ABC. You do have to think about your charges. Mm -hmm. you, and, and when you're using your, your blessings of corn, you got to think about those. So. <laughs> I definitely, I mean, and I do think this is one thing. I played it right. I played it well. I earned the win on a lucky Angron comeback. Like that's, there is still, there's always in a game of dice, there's always going to be a luck factor. And there, you know, there are some lucky rolls that Lane had to just absolutely, like, when Angron died the first time, there was a lot of very unlucky rolls on my side. I initially said, I'm like, here we go again, Angron can't make an armor save. Because even with it was just a small armor save, a three up, or he's shooting at me, and I'm not in contagion range, and it's a two up, I'm failing all those. And it was just like, his wound count just went down so fast, and then he stopped at that one wound, which was super critical to be able to turn around and smack a bunch of the plague Marines. If he died and that did not happen, that would have been mm -hmm. that whole, that plague Marine squad would have just absolutely held the center field for the rest of the game. Um, so that was lucky, but then opposite unlucky. I did not hit a single one of his fight on deaths. That's going to happen. It's a four up very lucky who needs fight on death. When the whole model comes back, when a di demon premark resurrects, it just lands and goes to town. So, a little bit of give or take there. Um, I like the world eaters. I can't. I cannot wait to see a codex for them and see some other little detachments and maybe some units. But uh, 
definitely reinvigorated me to get some painting done on these guys and uh, look into getting a demon prince for this list. Mm -hmm. real, the real model. That model's cool. I like the I like the uh, demon prince. The demon prince, yeah. Yeah, he's really cool. Um, so, but yeah, as far as Death Guard go, uh, you said Mortarian is just not your not your friend. Not your friend. Yeah, I might try with some other units, but I just feel like I could have used a little more uh, something else. Yeah, it's like like I said, uh, another brick of Death Shroud, and I had extra characters, so I could add uh, already had characters in the list for to go with the Death Shroud would be another mm -hmm. two hundred and twenty points, so it saves me eighty points. Uh, so I'd be eighty points I could do with you know a couple squads of Nurglings or, or something else out there. Um, but uh, yeah, I just I don't feel like it. He hit as hard as I wanted him to, you know, uh, you see that big boy there. Uh, you want him to hit it real hard. And he just, it just doesn't hit hard enough. So, um, and like, again, Mag I said in this game, the buffs didn't really come up that much. The, the aura buffs that he was giving out weren't a big deal. Magnus shoots really well. It really, really well mm -hmm. in fights. I mean, he can hit in combat, but not quite as good. Angron has zero guns, but he can, he, as we've seen, he's an absolute beast in combat. And Mortarian is in a really strong defensive middle. He is probably the tougher of the Primarchs. Now, granted, Magnus is almost impossible to kill late game. When you get to a point that you're running out of resources that you can hit him, and he has that free reroll and uh, a CP reroll and a zero out damage, uh, then at that point, it's just like he just stops all of your damage. But Magnus doesn't have access into a feel no pain whatsoever. So when you hit him, you hit him. Uh, Angron's only got a six up feel no pain. Mortarian is the toughest of those guys. And he can survive the longest for the buff. So I guess it just comes down to what can he buff? Would there be a possibility maybe of a monster mash with some demon princes with wings? I don't know what they all do, but having something like that and having some big like dreadnoughts and stuff like that and do a monster mash style list where there's so many big tough threats that he's now not the primary target. It's all the other things. It's like, okay, you, you do damage to him, but unless he is gone, unless he dies, all these things are gaining these buffs from him. And in turn, killing him is way too tough. That might be something interesting. Mm-hmm. I don't know what all the points look like. I don't know what the demon princes look like, you know, and all that stuff does. But that's that's one thing I think could be possibly cool is to have him uh, just a flood of big, cheap, cheaper monsters per se. Might be something. Yeah, to do. I mean, I have plenty of Death Guard vehicles. I can run an all vehicle. Let's see how that goes. I'm almost done painting a, a Death Guard Land Raider, so uh, maybe that'd be something fun. To try. Uh, we also giggled about this before the game started. I was talking to Land, and he's like. We was doing his shots, or I think it was during the game. You were doing shots into me, and I was like, "Oh yeah, you know you can throw grenades too." And he goes, looks at, it, he's like, "And Mortarian has grenades. It's amazing." Like I keep randomly telling lane units that have grenades just because of previous editions. I remember he had that giant satchel of grenades. I'm like, mm -hmm. "Yeah, you can throw grenades too." That's a fun little, fun little a added bonus with Mortarian. All right, well, that's everything. The Pump King remains, but. Lane still has a title belt, and he won that with the Death Watch. Mm -hmm. So you have to I, wait till the Death Watch come back. That's I, I see. I, that's how I kind of feel. I feel All like right. originally the deal was is that you would pick any Marine army to defend it with, but I haven't had an army that I've been on a roll with that I feel is adequate to challenge you. You know, we I did well with this army. I, you know, I did well with the um, with anything. The only army that would even be close to challenging would be the Necron character list. Because that's been that was that's been running amok, but even so, it hasn't had like a dead set like win 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 to really challenge for the title belt yet. Mm -hmm. And now rumors of the Death Watch return, so it feels like we should wait till December. I think uh, that might be the next title match might be around New Year's. I think that's when we're gonna we'll do it. Yeah, say. we'll have to we'll have to see what what the Death Watch return actually is. I'm not. Yeah. I still don't have my hopes up. I'm not excited about it yet. We'll see when they get the actual rules. But yeah, we might have to hold on to that. I think we have plenty of other stuff we can play in the meantime. Oh, we too. do have a ton of other stuff. So as you guys stay tuned to see what else we break, let us know in the comments section. I'm back on leave, so I'm going to be finishing up the Discord and getting some tests done with that. So there'll be other ways to get in touch with us: submitting lists, submitting pictures, everything like that, so that we can see more of what you guys are working on, show more of what we're working on. 
And biggest thing is site rules when we're talking about things. That's a huge one. That, yeah. That's one of the biggest reasons for the Discord is to be able to even do that. So, all right, let's call it quits. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you again soon.